The wait is over everyone. GTA 5 Online Heists are finally here. This is Chronocord Gaming, my name is Justin, you can call me JC, along with my co-host and good friend, Corey, aka C-Dub. What's good, man? Oh man, we have been foaming at the mouth for this ever since Rockstar told us it was on the way. Lester is giving us a call. It's time to begin the heists. Here we are overlooking Los Santos with this nice scenic view. We're going to go here after getting this phone call into what used to be seemingly just a little side office with a computer and a map of Los Santos. As you're going to see here, it's no longer just a little side office. This is now the heists planning room. Wow, it's about time. Yeah, it is about time, Corey. Really no complaints here because all this awesome extra content from Rockstar is all free. And you cannot say that about a lot of other games. But this heist room, man, it looks like we have an armory, a map, a planning board, some sick uh, mixing monitors up there. Let's head to the garage, jump in a car, and head over to Lester's and see what kind of job opportunities he has awaiting for us. My guess is going to be some awesome heists. Yeah, Lester is certainly a mastermind of activities, criminal activities like these. If anybody can put a big heist together, it's going to be Lester. Let's hop in this sick ride and head on over to Lester's warehouse. All right, Corey, here we are over at Lester's warehouse. Nice shot of downtown Los Santos there. Let's head inside and see what this dude's got to say. I'm sure Lester has uh, all of this already planned in that giant brain of his as we enter the Darnell Brothers building. Here he is, Lester. What do you got for us, my man? Oh, number one, lots of awkwardness. Of course. Number two, we kind of match. That's a little scary. <laughs> you guys plan this. Yeah, the heists were one of my favorite parts of the first person story mode. Really excited to see what they did with it here for GTA Online. Yeah, you know, I definitely had a lot of preconceived notions going into this as far as what all it would entail. There were a few missions in the story mode, the single player mode, where you had to do some setup uh, and preparations before you actually executed the big job. And I have a feeling that's what we're going to be seeing here. Yeah, those pre-heist setup missions were a lot of fun in the story mode. Guessing that we're going to see those as well here in the online version. Also guessing that we're going to start kind of small, maybe hit a lower tier bank, and then work our way up into some bigger jobs. Got to see what Lester's got in store for us. Yeah, it looks like he sent us on our way here. Uh, looks like it's going to take, like we were talking about, a little bit of setup here before the job is ready. We're going to have to wait for Lester to give us a call. He's going to give us a call here pretty soon. Let's go uh, hop in our car here, do some driving around Los Santos, and uh, we'll wait around for Lester's call. There's the call, Corey. Lester being prompt as usual. We really didn't have to drive around too much to wait for that. No, we're here up in the hills. We just kind of hung out and we've got the call. Lester here, aha, uh -huh. looks like he's telling us we need to go to the planning room in our apartment to trigger it. All right, Corey, here we are back at the homestead, walking into the newly opened heist room haven't had a chance to really check out everything on the walls yet. But first, let's see what happens here. See how we trigger the first job of the heist. Yeah, we're going to have to uh, trigger. Oh, no, you've been unmasked. Your secret identity has been revealed to the world. Damn it, man. My days as a crime fighter are over, unfortunately. What's going on here? Using the phone to set up the mission. Ah, looks pretty much just like all the other missions on GTA Online when you're setting them up. Nothing new. 
Gotta make sure to purchase that super heavy armor just in case. Yeah, absolutely. You have to come prepared for these jobs. Let's go ahead and invite someone to join in. We'll catch you once they get here. All right, Corey, we have met our partner in crime, Pro X2 Skills. Let's hope he's got those skills because at level 44, there are some questions now. His driving level, not so hot. Kind of worried, man. Yeah, it's going to have to do in this case. We're going to have to do uh, whatever it takes here. Oh, hey, look who it is. It's Lester. The gang's all here. You know, I think it's awesome that they have someone that they built up in the single player story mode like Lester at the helm here as the mastermind. If anybody can really make this thing happen, it's him. Uh, regardless of the skill of each of us as the players, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of really specialized tasks and equipment and stuff we're going to have to use. Maybe we're going to have to go pick some stuff up like we did in the single player mode. Yeah, Corey, we're going to have to go pick up some gear, pick up some weapons and all the things we're going to need. Back to Lester for a second, I really felt like he was the patchwork between all the main characters in the story, between Franklin, Trevor, and Michael, always plotting their next move or their next big mission, and he kind of held them together. Yeah, most definitely, man. Lester is going to be the glue that holds this operation together as well. Lester, where the heck are you taking us here, man? Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. We're gonna go ahead and head off with Lester and our partner in crime here. Let's go. All right, we are leaving the apartment building and heading to our ride, which looks to be a real nice car. Must be Lester's, must be a damn hybrid. Yeah, hey, at the very least, we're gonna save some money here on this job. And now we get to see our partner in crime here. Let's see what's up with his driving skills. Is this guy a regular old Steve McQueen or what? Looks like he's, oh boy, here he goes. Right across oncoming traffic. I like your style. Now C-Dub, along with the heist missions being added to GTA Online, there are a lot of other updates to go over. Fill us in. Yeah, uh, we not only have the main heist mission update, we also have some new vehicles that relate to the heist missions. I believe we're going to be using some armored cars. I mean, logic would dictate we have to. There's some other missions that they've added online that are called adversary modes, which are super cool. In one of them, you're going to have one to three players that get placed into a t uh, like a tower, almost like a air traffic control tower and you have to survive for four minutes. You can't leave the tower. You can use all the weapons you want, and you have waves of attackers coming in who have unlimited lives, but can only use sawn off shotguns. There's also a, a, another cool mode where you have runners and attackers. You have the runners who are attempting to reach a checkpoint, except you gotta go on bicycles while being chased by the attackers who are gonna be in big rigs. There's a ton of other content as well, but I mean, just with the main heist missions alone and these new adversary modes, man, thank you so much, Rockstar, for this free update. Yeah, this DLC looks to be chock full of goodness. We can't wait to see what's in store. Until then, stay tuned for the next episode of GTA 5 Online. Also, make sure to check out our original instrumental music on chronocord.com. Please subscribe to keep up with all our new content. For my co-host Corey, I'm JC. See you next time.